tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to quickly show you how you can load CSH files into Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC 2014. Basically the same approach can be used in other versions as well as well as PC and Mac. On the PC it's program files is the main area that you want to instead of applications folder which is on the Mac. Now what I'm going to do I'm just going to quickly going to get rid of Photoshop now at the moment. Don't want that there so hide Photoshop. Now Key thing here is if you go to a go and go to folder and there's an option here for library because the library might be hidden maybe maybe not but if it's not or is then you can go to it quickly via this option here go to library click there and what you see will see an application support etc and Adobe Photoshop CC 2014 and presets now you want if you want to just add your CSH files just put them there. These are custom shape fold files. You can find many of them those on the web, such as Graphic Extras, got hundreds and hundreds of CSH files, which you can uh, freely download as well as uh, obviously purchase. Now, just added one, a test one there. So if you had a test CSH, which I've done, can I go back to Photoshop, just quickly show you. Now, custom shape tool, just select that, and go to the palette, and down the bottom, test. It will appear there. So anything you put in your application support will appear there. But you don't need any, like say, privileges to add it there. If you want to put it into this selection, you have to actually have some privilege to uh, put them. And I'm just going to quickly again go back, hide, hide Photoshop, just go to, and there you see the CSH files there. That's custom shapes under the presets. Again, just basic Adobe Photoshop preset applications folder, let's say presets, custom shapes. Right. Once you've actually done that. There's other options you can do as well, and I'm just going to quickly show you one. Here's some uh, custom shapes, CSA. You can just double click that, and another option is to click, right click, and you'll get a little menu that comes up and says open with. But you can just double click that, and it will put it quickly into your Photoshop, and there's the actual custom shapes. They've been added to the Thing. Now, another option for adding the custom shapes is via the right side menu. You see, like I say, this list, but you can also use load shapes. So you can say load shapes, and that will then browse. What it does, it actually loads them to this existing set. So just go there, load shape, and then search for a like I say, bow tie shape, another one on the Graphic Extras website, and that's added down here. Now, you can get rid of the whole lot and just add just that one thing, just go via the replace. And you can select again and that just gets rid of the other other selection and stuff right that's a quick and hopefully easy way of showing you how you can load custom shapes and once you've got the custom shapes in there of course you can uh, just use custom shapes apply them of course it helps right color so you can actually see them just like that hope you found